So hey everyone welcome back to another quick and interesting tutorial where in this quick tutorial we're going to discuss how you can see the game storage requirements for the, for any of the game that you have been downloading through epic game stores as you, if you may having some limited amount of space of for on your hard di hard drives so you may need to know first the about how much amount that the storage has been consumed by the game so you can do that on easily on the epic game store software without downloading the game uh, so all you have to do is to was first simply open the software on whichever whichever platform you are using for example if i open the epic games launcher on my windows pc and here you can see the home page as you have been familiar with this now in order to find the storage requirement of any game all you have to do is to first, for example first i search any game like if i search gta 5 when I search this, you can see uh, I am currently on the game. Now, in order to in order to check the storage requirements, all you have to do is to first simply scroll down till the till the last and click on the option of show more. When you click there, uh, uh, maybe it not be necessary. And here you have to scroll down and find an option of specifications. You can see it's just right there. And here on the Windows notification, if you are if maybe you are using Mac, so it may be written Mac over there. And you have to scroll down and find the minimum requirement requirements storage uh, requirements now here you have to scroll down and find an option of hd uh, space hdd space you can see it's just right there now it says a 90 gb of available space should be required before downloading uh, downloading this game so now from here you can check any of the game requirement before downloading the actual game uh, how much the storage that is going to be consumed by the game so it may be easy for you to uh, to solve the issues of storage problems i hope this video will be helpful for you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button for having such more helpful and interesting tutorials see you in the next one take care